This is Jackson Park. It's located here on the south side of Chicago and it's named after the seventh president of the United States, Andrew Jackson. This park has played an important part in Chicago's history. The World Columbian Exhibition was held here in 1893. In the 50s, they actually kept nuclear capable missiles here and it's the location where Jake and Elwood Blues drove their 1974 Dodge Monaco through a group of protesters. Where I'm standing right now is the future location of Obama's presidential center. Upon its completion in 2020, it would be the 14th presidential library in the United States. So what exactly is a presidential library? Well firstly, it functions like a museum. Ever since President Hoover, the government has collected documents, artifacts, pictures and much more relating to the president and kept them in their respected libraries. Notably, Reagan's library includes the presidential transport vehicles, including Air Force One. George Bush's library has 12 feet of the Berlin Wall, and most libraries have a complete replica of the Oval Office. Secondly, the libraries are an archive of all the documents produced by the president and his staff during his tenure. As required by the Presidential Records Act of 1978, these are owned by the United States government. Along with the collection, these will be archived, maintained, and curated by the National Archive Records Administration. Finally, it's a place where the movement behind a president can continue to grow, foster new ideas, and inspire those future generations. The Obama Presidential Center will include research labs, educational programs, performance spaces, and also have an office for him and the First Lady. The decision to place his library here will have an enormous effect on the neighborhood and the city. It's a final grand gesture to a place where his career and family started, the South Side. Obama's character and charisma created this idea of change and possibility. As the biggest ambassador to America, he definitely affected my urge to want to come and explore this country. The country that I now find myself living in and calling home. Over the next few years, the foundation is collecting and cataloging artifacts that memorialize Obama's historic campaigns and presidency. So if you have a story, a photo, or a physical object that you would like to donate to the museum, I'll put a link in the description below so that you can go ahead and do that.